Tell us about uh, your business. Uh, you, you obviously your partner is there, David, and uh, India Trail, and uh, it's a northeast. Yeah, I, I'll let you explain to the audience like what it actually is and what you offer okay. as a business, and we'll plug in your channel here with all. The, I mean your. <laughs> so we we like to call ourselves a travel experience company. Mm. So what that means is that we have done our research. We've gone around to most of the states. We've studied the geography of the area. We've studied some history of the, the place. Mm. And what I think, at least in the beginning, what our key skill was, if you want to visit the Northeast and you don't know where to go or how to do it, mm. we will study you. We'll study your interests, your group, and then make suggestions. Mm. So, so like a customized sort of... Yeah. 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 Mm. So to be, to, to be very... Uh, to, to be very simple about it if, if a guest is coming with you know two young kids mm. then we would say listen don't go to this part don't go to this part because the drive times are quite high the road condition is not so mm. good mm. or if if there's uh, you know people want to do water sports then we'll send them to Meghalaya if people are interested in mountains and snow then it restricts it's only Sikkim in Arunachal mm. Pradesh so we would study the whole group right. I mean, I'm, I'm right. simplifying it yes yes broadly from the time they get off the plane till the time we put them back on the plane we handle everything in the middle mm. and we would design that for them based on their interests right right so we've tried like these package tours that, that you know yeah, yeah, usual, goes yeah, for. it yeah. never works mm. it never works because you put four different people in a car yeah, yeah. and, and all you bring them interests. yeah everyone's got different interests right. this place is so diverse mm. just driving from here to Guwahati, for example, mm, mm. people want to do different things. Mm. So how do you put four different travelers in a car exactly. and keep cater to everyone's interest? Right, right. Either everyone's really happy or everyone's really pissed off. And mm. we have had a group of four people who have been really pissed off. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so we moved out of that. And now we, we just do customized stores. Mm. In fact, uh, over the years, we have reduced what we do. Mm. Uh, we now have people in other states who run their own businesses. Mm. And we're quite comfortable with what they do. So mm. we, if, if Sikkim or Meghalaya or Arunachal, we farm it out to these chaps. Okay. So they know what we like, they know what our clients like, and we mm -hmm. do a heavy discussion with them, and they do it. So mm. we now focus largely on um, Meghalaya, Assam, and Nagaland. Mm. Sikkim, Arunachal are done by others. Meghalaya okay. is done by a friend of ours. Um, then we moved further. Mm. We said, okay, you know, how long are we going to be sitting in planning tours? It's mm. a very... I would use the word replaceable skill. Right, right. You know, you come on a holiday with us, yeah. the next time your friends are coming, you probably share our program exactly. with them and you just exactly. do the same thing. You know? yeah. So yeah. we can be replaced quite easily. True. So then we said, okay, what else is the next? It's important for us to have a property mm. because that property and the experience in that property is unique. Mm. No and that'll else, be yours. Yeah. Exactly. No one else can do it. But we don't have the money for that kind of stuff. Mm. You know? So how are we going to get a property? So we moved to, I think the first experiment we had was in Nima village mm. and I think it was 2015 if I'm not mistaken we approached the village and we said listen why don't you rent us four or five empty houses we'll mm. do it up we'll run it as a homestay we'll run it we'll give you uh, you know certain yes, revenue yes. shares but we'll also employ everyone from the village mm. so we had a whole lot of uh, performers artists then all the housekeeping all the restaurant staff everyone was all from from, mm. from there and it was a great experience I thought mm. it was a great experience but it did challenge us a bit because it, we had to work with a lot of people. Right. So right. everyone has different interests, yes, stakes, yes, whatever yes. on this. So while that was a great experience for us, I think it was too big, uh, too big a deal for us to to continuously do. Mm. So Mima was our first taste of uh, running our own thing, mm. and I think it was brilliant. We learned a lot. It was fantastic working with uh, the guys from Mima. It was mm. absolutely great. Mm. Then we moved on one step further and said, okay, now let's have our own place. So we rented a campsite. We rented a, a you know, small piece of land and we built a campsite on it. Mm. And for, the, for 2016, 17, 18 and 19, we've run our own campsite. It's been mm. a, that, that's something that we really enjoy Camp doing. Camp David. Yeah, yes. that's right. Um, something we really enjoy doing and I think we do it well. Mm. I, I'm sure people might have different opinions, but I think we do it well. Mm. We have great toilets which is the biggest thing mm. for anyone right, right. very important the food is okay it's not mm. i mean it's it's not a place where you you know you're going to think let's go to camp david for dinner no yeah you're yeah. coming there for the evening the fun the right, bonfire right. the people you meet but it's good it's good yeah <laughs> this year uh, we're actually expanding we're taking a much bigger place mm. and while we're not going to increase the number of tents i think we're going to increase the number of things that we do and we mm. offer the activities and yeah. such. luckily for us in 2019 uh 
Tafma mm. allowed us to host a music fest in in sync with Honbil. Yeah, yeah, okay. That was a great experience for us. You know, our experiences are slowly moving yeah, on. I remember right? seeing the pictures. Yeah. Of, of the so we first started planning trips. Then we said, okay, let's start running our own place. Now we have our own campsite. Mm. Then now we have a small music festival that syncs up with Honbil at right, the campsite. Right. We had almost fifty artists perform over ten days at the yeah, campsite. Yeah, it was, yeah, It was a great experience. I won't say that we did it well mm. because we were also learning how to do it. Right. But I think, given the limited knowledge and experience we had, I think we did a decent job, and mm-hmm. hopefully, we'll get to do it this year as well. Now, our next step is uh, to run to run some cottages. Mm. Uh, there are some cottages very close to our campsite that we are trying to take on lease. Mm. And if we get that, that'll be our next move. You know, it's not like we'll shut the campsite, but we yeah, want to yeah, run both yeah, yeah. because they target different people. Right, right. So that'll be another move up, I think. Mm, mm. So that's generally where we are headed. I think we'll slowly start uh, getting away from planning trips. Mm. I think there are there are younger people with more drive who do yeah, it, yeah, yeah. who do it yeah. with the same that, passion that we did mm, seven mm. years back. We'll we're quite, and I think we've identified a few people that we'd like to train up and let them do it. Mm. But we'll now move to just these two three things that we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice thing that I mean. If you do train people under your company and then you retain yeah. them and then they still carry on that part aspect of the business, like you said, I I do I do feel that way too that you need younger people for that kind of yeah. you know like with that zeal and yeah, it's it's quite it tiring. it is it, yeah. it will be tiring. Can you just share with us some of like the best? Okay, first of all, Camp David, how many how many tents does it? Last um, 2019, when we last did it, mm. we didn't do it in 2020. But yeah, uh, obviously, yeah. 2019, we had I think 40, 40, between 40 and 45 tents. Wow, that's a lot. And are these generally uh, all booked during yeah. the period? Yeah. So last of the year we were quite. I mean, uh, 2019 we were quite lucky. Uh, we had roped on to Airbnb, uh. and through Airbnb and a lot of walk-ins, mm. we were almost full every day. And you, is that strictly during the Hornbill, or does it? extend beyond so how, how does for yeah. the last four years I mean 15 to 19 we did it only doing the Hornbill mm. because there were very few travelers right, coming outside right. of that this new property that we're taking we're planning to do it up in a manner where we can use it through year the, round no? yeah, mm, yeah. Mm, so mm, mm. It, it only makes sense to okay. do it now. Yeah, yeah yeah okay now uh, coming back to the other thing that I was going to ask um, can you just share with us one or two like of your great in your in your opinion some of the great packages that you designed for some customers Anywhere in the northeast, in any of the, okay. the you know. One of my personal favorites is Minchuka. Mm, I've seen a lot of pictures yeah, of that. That's I've beautiful. I've been there three times already mm. and I love it. I'm going again in Feb. Uh, I don't need an excuse to go there. My bike, one bag, mm, and I'm gone. Mm. It's a long journey. So How I, long is it? like? Uh, so from Nagaland, it'll take you a day to reach Dibrugar. Mm. Um, from Dibrugar, it's two days drive. Two days drive? Two days drive, yeah. Damn. So it's not, it's not for the weak-hearted. Yeah, 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 it's definitely not. Once you reach Menchuka, I'm telling mm. you, you just forget everything in the world. Mm. 2013 mm. October, just before we, uh, no, so, uh, September 2013, just before we started this whole India Trail thing, I took off there on my own. Mm. And uh, I, I went local transport. So mm. I went by bus from Dimapur to Itanagar. Oh my. Itanagar, I got a lift from a friend of mine, uh, with a friend of mine to Along. Along, I got, jumped into a, a sumo. Uh-huh. In the sumo, I met a guy who's now a great friend of mine, a guy uh, called Gebu, uh, who runs homestays in Menchuka. Okay. So I was really scared because I, I was reaching, yeah, reaching yeah, yeah, yeah. this northern part of Arunachal with no place booked, nothing. Reached his place, stayed with him for a week, and ever since then I've just been going back. Mm. My return journey from Menchuka was very interesting. I took a sumo from Menchuka to Alo, spent the night there. Mm. Alo to Pasigat again mm. by sumo. Pasigat, I had to get across the river to Dibrugar. Mm. So the sumos wouldn't go, so I had to jump on the back of a Tata, that 407, uh, Tata uh, mobile things, drive a little bit, that <laughs> broke down, then jumped onto the back of a truck, uh, reached the riverside, mm. jumped onto a ferry, ferry uh, got across to Dibrugar, and it must have been what, 12 o'clock in the afternoon by now, and I had to reach Dimapur by night, so mm, uh, mm. everyone had given me stories about how Assam usually yeah, 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 at night. <laughs> so from Dibrugar, I jumped onto those Tata, uh, you know those those big vehicles, like the 17, 18 seater things that that commute. Mm. Jumped on that, reached Golagat. Golagat, they told me you've missed the train. Mm. I was walking around with my bag. It must have been five, six in the evening by then. 
and one guy in a uh, Tata Nano mm. with a child came up to me. Say, you're looking lost, and mm. it was dark. Mm. So I said, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't need help because I didn't know who this guy was. Yeah, He's like, no, yeah. hang on a second, I'll drop you to the station. So he drove me some 20 kilometers in his Tata Nano, uh. refused to take any money from me. Uh. Took me to the station, took me to the counter, helped me buy a ticket. Mm. Got onto the train coming to Dimapur. Mm. As soon as I got on the train, I couldn't find the damn ticket. So next station, I handed my bag. I was desperate. Mm. Handed my bag to one of these guys in the in the in, inside the train. I said, "Hold it." I ran out, bought another ticket, came back into the train because I was scared that mm. they would check and I didn't have a ticket. Finally reached Dimapur at uh, I think what maybe one o'clock or two o'clock mm. in the night. No idea what to do. So I called up another old college friend of mine who runs a place in the supermarket. Mm. So three o'clock in the morning, I walked from the station, station. to her place, her hotel in supermarket. Uh. And spent the night there, and I've never slept better, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so Menchuka, but, yeah, so definitely yeah. Menchuka. Menchuka definitely because like I from from you especially, but like yeah. from a, a few other sources also, I've seen some amazing pictures. Yeah. What what would be your top five northeast destinations? So Menchuka would be right there on uh, top, along with maybe North North Sikkim. North Sikkim. I think Sikkim offers, I mean, spectacular views and mm. lovely people. I mm. mean, just they're so friendly and so happy. I think I put these two at the top. The Hornbill Festival in Nagaland is something that I really like mm. um, because it's so vibrant and it's so right. exciting, and there's so much happening all the time. And I think for our guests also, it's great because you get to see everything. Yeah, in one yeah. Spot. the whole whole yeah. thing. All yeah. Others will take you three months to move exactly. around Nagaland to exactly. get that experience. experience. I think Meghalaya doing, uh, you know, the whole double-decker walk, the canyoning in Meghalaya, mm, uh, mm. you know, you're basically walking on a riverbed. Mm. Fantastic. I mean, again, I've done that four or five times, okay. just specifically. Anytime mm. anyone's going there, I go there to do it. Wh- which area are they doing this? It's in a place called Molong Bana. It's, okay. near, it's near that Mosin Ram. Okay. So it's about two and a half hours away from, from Shillong. Shillong. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic experience. Mm. I'd put that as four. Um, I think the fifth would be the trip to... Uh, the Burma border mm. in Moray mm. because the drive from Imphal to Moray is stunning right. absolutely right. stunning uh, it's been a while since mm. we've done that mm. but that that would be my fifth mm. 